I've got a great recipe for you today that you are probably familiar with, but we're going to add in a not so common ingredient to up the nutrition. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel, where we get together every week in the kitchen and we create delicious and nutritious recipes to keep your recipes interesting and new and fun. Today we're going to be making an energizing guacamole. Let's begin by taking three ripe avocados. And did you know that if the barcode begins with the number nine, it's organic? Let's cut them lengthwise, twist them open, and then remove the pit with either a spoon or a knife. My avocados are super ripe, so the pit just popped out. Scoop out the fruit into a medium-sized mixing bowl and mash up your avocados to your desired consistency using a fork or a potato masher. To our avocado, let's add one half of a cup of minced up red onion. So you could also substitute this with scallions or shallots. And did you know, if you're ever feeling congested, you can always take an onion, chop it up, place it in a bowl, and then place it near where you're sleeping and it should help clear up your sinuses. This next ingredient is one of my favorites. I have one half of a cup of chopped up fresh cilantro. So cilantro is so good at detoxifying the body from heavy metals. It also adds this wonderful freshness to our recipe. Food really is medicine. The juice from one lime, which is about two tablespoons worth, and if you want to up the lime flavor, you certainly could add in the zest from the lime. It will be delicious. Just make sure that it's an organic washed lime. One half of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt, and then one eighth to one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You just wanna be sure not to add too much salt because a lot of times we eat this guacamole with salty foods like chips and then that's just going to be too much salt. So it really depends on what you're serving your guacamole with. One quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder. And now for our surprise ingredient, I have one teaspoon of matcha powder. Matcha is bursting with antioxidants and that really helps prevent cell damage as well as protecting the body from different diseases. Matcha also has some caffeine, so it's going to give you a little bit of boost of energy. Toss together all of your ingredients. It is taste testing time. Guacamole is often served as a dip with fresh vegetables and tortilla chips. And if you've never tried Siete, that brand has a delicious grain-free chip that is so good. I love to use guacamole as a salad dressing. I'll just pour it right on top and it adds just this wonderful flavor and creaminess and delicious fats. So it is time to give it a taste. I'm just going to put it on a piece of carrot. I think it tastes delicious. I can't taste the matcha powder. You could always play with that amount. I only added in one teaspoon. And if you wanted to play around, maybe you add in a little bit more so that the flavor comes through a little bit. I love guacamole. It's one of my favorite things to eat. And I'm curious, do you have a favorite recipe that you would like to turn it into a healthier recipe? Send it my way. I would love to play around with that and see what I come up with. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, thanks for being a part of our community and thank you for caring about your health. It really does make a difference. One recipe and one supplement at a time, we really can change the health of the world. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.